for more bang fun, be sure to check out the Bang Radio Hour podcast every week. Mr. Davis, Mr. Winslow is here. Oh, thank you, Rose. Send him right in. Good morning, Kellen. How are you doing? How are you? How are you? You hear that shit, Ken? Man, you best be coming out with something much better than that shit to start this stuff off with. Our client ain't gonna get by on no pleasantries like that. I'll tell you what, gratuitous like that ain't paying the bills. How you doing today? What the hell's all that about? You got that right. Especially them sorry ass. How you doing today? How you think he is? How you think he's doing? He the chosen one. Look at him. How you think he's doing? Man, so f*** all that how you doing shit. Yeah, f*** all that how you doing shit. Have a something more like, nice to see you, Kellen. Cause you know it is. Look at him. Look at him. It sure is nice to see him. It sure is nice to see you, Kellen. Yeah, yeah, that would have been nice. Telling him that you like the way he looks today. That would have been something much better than how you doing, stupid ass question like that. That's it, that's it. I've had enough. We out of here. We out of here until stuff gets better. Uh, n- nice to see you today, Kellen. I don't see no fruit basket. Yeah, I don't see no fruit basket neither. What if Kellen was hungry? What if he wanted a banana? What if he wanted an orange or even a mango? I don't see nothing like that around here. What if he wanted something like that? I think that means the Cleveland Browns gonna be trying to starve our client. You trying to starve our man? That's it! That's it! We out of here! That's enough! I trust everything is exactly the way you like it today. Was that an attitude? Was that an attitude? I know he didn't just come out with no attitude. I'm a f***ing soldier. He's a f***ing soldier. A goddamn soldier. And you gonna give him a bunch of attitude for trying to be comfortable? Oh, that's it. I can't take no more there. Well, we would certainly like to come to some sort of a deal before a training camp. <laughs> Go on, man. Get out of here. You see what he's saying? That's a good one. Man, Well, now that you're comfortable, I trust we can get down to some business. Now, as the sixth pick overall, we're prepared to make you a very handsome offer that's going to make you a very wealthy and happy man, and hopefully a Cleveland Brown for the rest of your career. Did I hear that correctly? Did he just say what I think he just said? I know he didn't say number six. I know he meant to say number one, but I thought I heard him say number six. He didn't say number six, did he, Kevin? Yep, yo, that's what he said. He said number six. Number six. He did. He did. Are you crazy? Oh, no, we got a problem right now. Uh, No, no, he must not know what the New York Jets said. Tell him what the New York Jets said. The New York Jets stated that, hypothetically speaking, if they had the number one pick, they would have chosen our clients first overall. So that is the position that we are going to begin our negotiations. But the New York Jets did not pick first, nor did they choose your client. We did, and we selected him sixth. You best be having that old Lucy Lou's feet back there. Feel so damn good. I'd come over there and slap your face for such an indiscretion towards my client. How dare you speak of him such? Don't you know he's a chosen one? Kevin was the number one pick. And you best start recognizing there ain't no point going on. How many more times we gonna have to come down here and listen to you and insult our client like this? That's it. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Right after I get my happy ending. Oh, hell yeah. That bitch show is giving up a happy ending. And then we're definitely out of here.